we're going to talk about how the dragons attack each other. Uh, I had the distinct pleasure today of being on Dr. Phil and uh, for the first time on his show, we talked about your brain is always listening coming March 2nd. And we did a show on vaping. And some of you may remember Andy, the ancestral dragon. My goodness, there were dragons everywhere uh, on this show. And one of the dragons was the oblivious bad habit dragon. There was a mom who in the past had struggled with addictions. I'm not going to give it away, uh, but just vaping had hijacked her brain and she was in denial. And, you know, one of the questions you should always ask is vaping good for the brain or bad for it. I'd actually done a program with uh, the Dr. Oz show and we scanned Dr. Oz while he was vaping caffeine. You can vape most anything. Marijuana, uh, nicotine are the most common, but the vaping activated his visual cortex. So he would notice things more, but it decreased the function in his prefrontal cortex, which means he would notice the cute intern at work, but then make a bad decision. Now he didn't, but how it affected his brain was more focused, but the decision-making part of his brain was not good. And so vaping is an epidemic. A lot of people think it's a healthier form of smoking. Smoking's bad. I mean, bad in so many ways. But nicotine is not your friend. Once you start it, you have trouble stopping it. And nicotine constricts blood flow prematurely ages the brain, increases blood pressure, makes your blood vessels stiffer, which is a really bad thing, and ultimately it wears out the pleasure centers in your brain, which is a very bad thing. Um, a very bad thing. Uh, vaping is not entirely safe. I see one of the comments. Um, yeah, it's absolutely not entirely safe. Uh, and the problem is you have two little pleasure buttons in your brain. They're called the nucleus accumbens. It's part of the basal ganglia. And when dopamine and other drugs uh, of abuse uh, hit the nucleus accumbens, at least the front half of it, you go, whoa, you like it. But the problem is it's eight to 10 times stronger than normal things that make you happy. And the more you do it, the more you have to do it, and ultimately it turns into the cycle of doom, which is you use and you feel better. I like that. But as it wears off, you feel worse. And so you use again, to feel better, but when it wears off, you feel worse. So now you use not 
to feel great, you use so you don't feel depressed. You use so you don't do feel depressed. So you're actually chasing um, the nucleus accumbens that becomes less active. It becomes resistant, if you will. Um, and what wears out the nucleus accumbens? Caffeine, nicotine, marijuana, um, fame, high fat, uh, high sugar foods. And you want to protect your pleasure buttons. You want to protect them because if you wear those out, you're way much more likely to be sad. And uh, that's a bad thing. And so we talked to this mom who was completely addicted and her daughter um, was stressed out by it. And so, you know, I talked to the mom about, she has three children. I'm like, what are you modeling for the kids? Are you modeling health or are you modeling illness? And she's completely modeling illness. Uh, children don't do what you tell them to do. They do what you do. Does that make sense? And then uh, we talked to this family where a 20 year old was trying to become a YouTube influencer, but wasn't working very hard at it and had eight jobs in the last year. And as I looked at the dragons, I've been doing a lot on the dragons, that the mom, because she was a single mom for a long time, felt guilty. So she had the should and shaming dragon. She also had the responsible dragon, which meant she was doing way too much for this 20 year old kid. And when the should and shaming dragon Combined with the responsible dragon, you become the enabler dragon. And she enabled him to, to really not grow up. And he ended up with this special spoiled and entitled dragon where he sort of thinks people should take care of him. And uh, it's why over at Amen uh, University, uh, we just became the exclusive worldwide distributors for Parenting with Love and Logic. That'll teach you not to raise entitled children. It'll teach you to raise responsible children. So if you go to loveandlogic.com, you can learn all about that. Um, but it was, it was fun to have Dr. Phil help me explain how the dragons interact with the families and uh, you know those of you who think vaping's just no big deal try to stop and often like with cigarettes you find it to be hard um, and for the first time on television today we talked about my brand new 12-step program uh, perhaps I'll do it for you tomorrow um, where I reimagined the 12 step anonymous programs that were developed 85 years ago that I'm a fan of uh, and have had many people benefit from it, but I've also had many people not benefit from it. And I think part of the reason is there is no neuroscience in the anonymous program. So I reimagined the 12 steps from a brain health perspective. So if you like this uh, coming March 2nd, and if you pre-order it, you get four free gifts. I put the link, your brain is always listening, including a free coupon for a bottle of Happy Saffron, which is a $50 value. I mean, and we've given away almost 3000 bottles. So we're gonna run out soon, but uh, you know, pre-order this book and get your free downloads. 
March 2nd, we added a brand new event. And Tan and I are going to do an event uh, called 12 Steps to Recover Your Mind, How to Overcome Negativity, Bad Habits, and the Addicted Dragons. Uh, I think you'll really like it a lot. Last time we had nearly 20,000 people sign up. It was uh, pretty special. Um, let me see if there's any questions that I can answer. Uh, marijuana vaping has 10 times the THC than weed. I'm having a hard time quitting vaping. Of course you are. Um, you know, one uh, strategy is you could go cold turkey and just know you're going to be unhappy for a couple of days, or you could just measure how much you're actually doing and cut it down by 5% a day. And um, if you pre-order, uh, your brain is always listening and go to the link, yourbrainisalwayslistening.com. I have one of the gifts, which is awesome. It's called Magnificent Mind with Medical Hypnosis. It's six hypnosis audio programs I do for you. And one of them is on quitting smoking. Just when I say smoking, you replace that with vaping. That could be very helpful. Um, somebody is also talking about pain. I have another hypnosis audio uh, for pain. Um, your brain is always listening. So we have a new PBS special coming. Um, it's going to start airing nationwide February 27th. And uh, it's called Overcoming Anxiety, Depression, Trauma, and Grief. I do it with Tana. And he is one of the stars of the show, or the ancestral dragon. We're going to talk about the anxious dragon, the wounded dragon, the grief and loss dragon, the hopeless and helpless dragon, and the ancestral dragon. It's a fun show. Uh, we have a couple of great guests. Um, all right. Well, I wish you a vape free evening. Take great care of your brain. One more thought. I was talking to my sleep doctor today, Shane Criado and, uh, Dr. Criado. I said, Hey, impact of vaping and nicotine on sleep said it ruins REM sleep. And that's the kind of restorative sleep that is uh, so important. Somebody's asking, is it common to have multiple dragons? Yes, actually the average number, go to knowyourdragons.com. And the average number out of the 13 dragons is for people to have six. So Tana has 10. And when she wrote The Relentless Courage of a Scared Child, read that. You'll totally figure out why she had 10. Um, it's available now on Amazon. And of the 77 reviews, 4.8 on a scale of five stars. So I'm so proud of her. She is awesome. So event March 2nd. Uh, we'll make an announcement soon, like tomorrow or the next day. And... Uh, you can pre-order the book now and get Happy Saffron, the hypnosis audios, uh, all sorts of other things. All right, everybody. Have a great night.